Hello everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to another episode of Quantos here on the FTOG server. I've been a very busy bee the last week. It's taken me about 30 hours of farming and building, guys, to finish this exterior of our Japanese um, palace right here. And I figured it's time to start recording, because if I would have recorded all of this, guys, it would have been multiple episodes. And I already showed you guys how I built this whole front facade right here, which I... Initially built in creative and then actually used uh, schematica last episode. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that um, But the rest of this I winged I did not build the rest in creative first I built it all right here on the server because it, Well, it probably would have taken me, you know 50 hours <laughs> If I would have pre-built it first and so on so I just did it that way and I'm very happy how it turned out but it is time that I, you know, start recording now because I didn't want to finish the entire thing um, without showing you guys how um, I'm doing it and what the interior design choices are and so on. So today we're going to build a lot inside the palace. And I'm also going to get you caught up on all the things that I did between the episodes um, to get me to the point where I'm at now. Okay, so let's go ahead and go. Whoop. One too many there we go let's go on the first person you guys remember this facade i'm trying with purpose not to look any higher but this is what we had last time and there's some stuff on top of it <laughs> and I'll, I'll i'll fly around now and show you guys this from all the different angles and then give you a couple explanations on what the the choices were i made and so on and well, let me just go into here so i can point this out so over here these windows right there, they're just something I want to talk with you guys about here shortly um, to give us some ideas. But up to here, um, right here, down, cut down this way. This is what we had built last time and nothing has changed on that. And then what I did is first I replicated down here the walls. And you guys see there is a double section open right here. That's going to be our main entrance to this place. I have no idea what this is going to look like yet. And then when I had the, the width and so on, worked out how wide I wanted it. I did mention that I wanted it to come to right about here, okay? I actually think I mentioned I wanted it to come to here. So it's actually a little bit shorter, which is funny because it is still a, if you look at the sheer size of this, this is six by four chunks. And I think altogether it's about 100 and... Let's check here real quick. When I stand here, what is the Y level? 147 so about 120 blocks because i'm at build limit the last block up there is one block under build limit um up there on top of this this decoration that's on top of the ceiling the last block i can put one more block in them and the build limit <laughs> okay so then i took this over here and i did still have that schematic right so i just had it to flip it and then i was able to build this section over here so that was a huge time saver right there but then, of course, I had to build everything between here and there. And I got a lot of inspiration from, you know, Google Images. And there is so many Japanese or Asian builds out there that people have made. And I got a lot of inspiration from there. And a lot of things I also winged. For example, this entire decoration right there, this roof right here, that's all, I all just winged it. I just, you know, I placed so many of these blocks that it's kind of becoming second nature building uh in japanese style here it's it's i'm very comfortable with this now so if we need any you know any other buildings and so on because it would be um nice to have a village or something or like have another building over here and connected with hanging bridges and so on so we we have a lot of building to do i mean it how amazing would this be if all of this was filled with buildings and still you know natural uh terrain around it and so on but First, we're going to have to do something with this and especially move it. So, okay, let me go ahead and yeah, let's go higher. So this right here, um, um, when it was done with this entire thing around it, it looked like a stadium. Some people told me from, from the screenshot, right? And I'm like, what am I going to do here? So I was first thinking just pulling the, the, the roofing across, but that would have been really boring. And then I made this very simple building in the middle here. I centered it. And then just filled it in around it. So this roof right here gave me a little bit of a headache because it's all flat. So I just added all these um, smooth stone slabs and so on. Just as decorations, right? Kind of 
he's kind of like our the main Tory supports, right, of this of this roofing. So I figured have little tiny arches right there showing that this is supposed to hold this up. There's a little bit of decoration and um, detailing that I still want to do here. I think it looks quite boring, this wall right here. So I still need to do stuff there. And then this is the top roof, which wasn't hard to build at all, this roof here. This was quite easy. And then this up here I saw in a different, it looked different, but it kind of reminds me of like giant wind chimes. I, I that's what I see when I look at this right here like these three right there would be turning and this up here would be like a, a kind of almost like a bell structure and because these are turning it makes a noise in there and whatnot so I leave it up to our combined imagination what this is supposed to be um, but I like it it's it it tops it off nicely it's not just the roof that ends it has this up there I'm 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 very pleased so let me go ahead and go on this balcony first because number one you guys see this section is seven wide while these are all five because this how just it how it turned out these down here are all the same width these sections but because these up here these down here are yeah they're seven and but then these each one up wait a second i'm mixing something up here yes because it starts one further in that's how it was so this is one further in here and there, so I had less room, right? So it just didn't line up in the middle. So I just made it like this, and we're probably going to have some kind of a thing sticking out here eventually or something. I'm not sure. Um, eventually, but I think that you can barely notice that it's not, you know, even the same things. And I think it's okay, because there could also be a big entrance up here from the upstairs that we come out of and so on. So um, there's lots of detailing to do up here, but I didn't want to continue with that until we actually know um, what we're going to do with this upstairs here. Because, you know, if go inside for a second so you know what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like on the inside. And you guys see, I prepared a bunch of lights here for today. But, you know, down here, up to about here, is probably going to be the bottom floor, okay? And then I want to have a... I'm not exactly sure yet how we're going to do that. I'm going to have to figure that out. I want to have a, like a balcony go all the way around to about here. So from here all the way around this way to about there. Because here in the middle of the building is going to be, where's the middle? Right there. It's going to be the big showcase, like a throne or whatever, right? It's going to be probably really hard for you to see. Sorry about that. But I don't want to block it off above it. So when you stand in the middle of this palace and look up, I always want to be able to see it all the way to the top. Okay, you guys see there's some lighting glitches because these are all slabs. And uh, what the light doesn't come through is double slabs or stairs or something. But you won't be able to tell that. So up here is going to be rooms, right? You know, for our tech and whatnot. We're going to have to fill this out. There's going to be stuff in here. And then possibly up here... Is gonna be another layer so I could fill this in here with a floor and then use this up here also as rooms right or whatever sleeping quarters servant quarters whatever there is right I think I see right here is the mountain so um, I'll, I'll turn the lights on in a second let's go outside and that's what I was talking about you know because there's gonna be rooms upside there's gonna be doors leading onto this balcony um, Oh, what's the balcony for, right? So let's go all the way around here so you guys can see this. Look at the amount of oak logs. I need it. <laughs> it was bananas. Um, and now to tie this together, we already did some work in here last episode. I'm closing this off, making it shoot and look like it's natural, right? Actually, I had to tear all this out again because of the roofing up here and so on. So this entire mountain from here. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, from here, all the way down, I had to rebuild. So all this is built by me, including bushes and trees and all that stuff. And by the way, I also went around and wherever I had a little bit exposed, I put more um, cocoa beans because I kind of like them, having them. They they add some color and detail here. I really like them. I don't want to have too many. I also got rid of most of the vines in the area for now. I want to strategically place them later. But anyway, so check it out. When you break into here, you guys can see this is uh, all hollow, right? This was all gone. And I had to rebuild all of this all the way down to here. 
This was all cut out by the builder. So that took a long time as well. And of course, cost a lot of smooth stone. But I'll show you guys how I got all that in a minute. And I wanted it to be... I, I didn't have anything I could put here. Okay, I didn't want this balcony to be interrupted. I wanted to be able to get all the way around on it. So I came up with this retaining wall design here. Um, it's very simple. Let me know how you guys like that. I was also thinking of possibly replacing some of the blocks behind it with something else. Um, this is natural. This wall here, I did not need to build. Okay, um, so I'm going to have to think of what we're going to do, even though probably never come back here. But still, I wanted it to be decorated. And the same, by the way, is underneath. Uh, sorry, above. What am I talking about? Above right here. I have another one like this that supports this and then all the way up to here. You know, because I just wanted something. You wouldn't just have the dirt and the stone, you know, when it rains that would, you know, get all washed down and whatnot. Upstairs, by the way. So... And then on the balcony, you come around to this really cool feature right here. That, by the way, goes down 100 blocks. When you follow this, all the way on the side here. This is all natural. This is all like a cave. I don't want to go all the way down, but, you know, it goes down and around and then further down all the way to, like, Y level 70. You know, where the regular floor would usually be the, from the landscape. But anyway, we have this thing back here that i want to keep in what i want to incorporate so right here you can look inside the mountain that i don't want to see and the same over here there's another one right so these two sections here this one needs to be completely closed off so you cannot see it afterward a block over no it's just looking through the fence right there you can look out so this needs to be completely covered, you know, because you wouldn't have anything open towards the back where there is a mountain. And then the same from here, this section, this, this, and this, this needs to be closed. But I want to keep these three windows here, this one, that, and that open. So when you're in here, you can look out here because I think it's so beautiful, right? Let me go ahead and sleep for a second. Just so it's a little brighter on the outside. Look, check this out. And we could have like cherry trees back here and maybe a little water feature and whatnot. Okay. Whoa, whoa, come back to me. There we go. Hung up for a second, probably saving or whatnot. Okay. Um, I hope I showed off all the different features of this now. And then up here, you see the roof is this entire mountain here, up to here, including bushes and even this tree and so on. I had to rebuild. Um, I made sure to use a lot of these where I could, the alabaster. Um, because when you look around, it's everywhere, right? On all these faces here, they have this alabaster coming out. So all of these over here, all of that, I, I put back in there because it makes it look more natural. And I'm quite happy how it turned out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Um, it was a lot of work, and it's a very good foundation for the rest of the series here for us. To fill this in and of course today now i want to start recording let's see here 13 minutes all right good not too bad because it just have so much to catch you guys up on before we get going i built myself a grocerator 9000 over here <laughs> his patent pending tree farm because i just couldn't go into the mining age to farm all those guys i mean just you i don't know how many i i i, I wasn't in, in a blur i was watching many many movies while i was building this on my other screen chatting with people while they were playing other games and so on. Um, so I built myself this tree farm over here so I could just come here. Most of the times there was actually four sections of oak here, this regular, because that's what I needed the most. You know, if you harvest, let's say, four or five trees of spruce, that lasts you a long time because this is all just planks, stairs, and slabs. But the oak wood, you know, every one of these coming out is two trees. One tree, two trees. So four, six, eight, ten. You can imagine how many trees. And it's on every single level. <laughs> so it's crazy. So, and the other thing I needed was a ton of smooth stone for all the slabs. This is 90% of this roof is slabs, by the way. Um, very little stairs or full blocks um, are used in this. And for that, I set this up right here, which constantly clocks up. When I leave the area and come back, okay, so I need to break this one. 
and then I place it in here to stop the lava for a second, break it again, let the lava go away, break it, and now it's gonna flow down and make a smooth stone because when lava hits uh, water from the top, it makes smooth stone. And over here, I set up a uh, mechanical miner from X3 Utilities with an enchanted silk touch book. So we're getting all of that. And here, I used blood magic routing nodes to get it into this. I was first using a hopper and hopper ducts, but I had the biggest problem. I cannot insert into any drawers from anywhere but the top. I, I don't know. So I, I thought that the hopper ducts at first didn't work at all. And then I just, um, and I'll show you guys how I got these routing notes. You guys see I did a bunch of blood magic between episodes as well. Um, so now this is getting pumped in here and I have 101 stacks in here. The thing is quite uh, upgraded. So I don't ever need to worry about um, not having enough smooth stone. Okay. And the other stuff, like I said, I'll show you in a second. And then just today... I made four culinary generators. They're very easy to make. And I made uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. Five of these power cells from RF tools. And these guys are fed with Beef Wellington. Uh, Beef Wellington is what we set up in the very beginning of the series next to our tavern. It's very easy. In one farming, I can make three stacks of Beef Wellington. So, And this one just gives us a ton of power. This one down here is the only one that's been actually used. And I did a little bit of uh, calculating here. 10 beef wellingtons gave me 2.4 million RF. Okay. And all I'm running this for is for these floodlights in there. I didn't want to set up water wheels and whatnot. So I decided to just use something else. Okay. Now, why did I make this? And like I said, it was simply just so I can light this place up. Because for building purposes, you know, it's daytime. But look how dark it is. So... I just made um, nine, uh, sorry, six, uh, I made, see why I constantly need to count this because I always make something and then I'm like, ah, I need twice as many. There's four, eight, 14, 15 blood lights and I have another two, yeah, right there if I need them somewhere else. So all this is running on ID 12, people have been busy with this. And it took me forever to get these to go, guys, uh, because these floodlights now need redstone signal to turn them on. That's a very sneaky change <laughs> that I did not know about. And sometimes it takes them a second to go. I don't know why this one turned on. There we go. Now they're on. And it's, it's not fully lit up because the size of this, it's bananas. But it's going to help us a lot to see a little more of the area. And let me turn them all on real quick. I don't need to turn them off when I'm leaving because I don't have anything here chunk loaded. So none of this will keep using power when I am not here. And there's one more all the way up here. You see there's another mega torch right there. Just so I can see these walls in here a little bit better. Okay. And there is a mega torch right here. There's one there, one here, one there, and one there, guys. Because there is mobs spawning everywhere. And then, of course, I have two more down here. And even a few, three more in the hills. There's one up here. One uh, back there somewhere. So I don't have any mobs fall onto my house either. And then there's even one more down here. And that was the reason I needed to do blood magic. So, okay, we're going to be back here shortly. So let's go over to the magic area. Because that is where we need to do some things now. Uh, I also needed to up my GP. Uh, my GP production. The water wheels. I added five more. Let me start. This one have, has been here for a while in case you're wondering. You guys see there's blood magic here. But I just wanted to show you real quick how I did the... Are these still going? No, already used all the... I just put in five stacks of blaze rods a minute ago. Um, I added this one, that one, the one in the middle, and these two outer ones. I didn't need to use any water that way because we already had this, and this was completely closed off in a two-wide ring. So I just broke um, these four blocks and slapped one in here. This one only generates 12, but now altogether I'm making 120 HP because up in the Blaze Farm, I added some speed upgrades to those cages. That's what I want to get started with first. I want to show you real quick. You guys see they're spawning very fast now. 
because I'm gonna need a lot of mana for today and I'll show you guys in a second why and the poison um, trap or poison yeah trap works on them very nicely it gets them all down and then of course I still use this one I could also use my new sword which is right there a sentinel sword you guys see mending unbreaking looting and sharpness but then I get the will and I don't want the will right now um, now the only important thing is that when you when I do this down here I hold down shift so my magnet doesn't try to get any things and I didn't oh, I let go anyway <laughs> Uh, so that was 14 blaze rods right there. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and put that in here and this away. But yeah, that's how I'm getting... Um, um, well, you guys know that already. That's how I'm going to get everything for my mana. And now I only... This one little thing was 14 blaze rods. That's not bad at all, right? But I need a blood magic. Because I felt like cheating if I go over to Grox to make all my, my mega torches. I know he would not mind... But I still feel like, you know, I owed it to you and myself to start Blood Magic. And I got it to Tier 3. Tier 3 was needed at Blood Magic. Number one for these routing nodes right here. The routing node needs a... Uh, wait a second. No, that's not what I needed. I didn't need that for... I needed the, this Tartaric gem here, the common one. Oh yes, I, I forgot. I did need it. Because th to make this one, you need an imbued slate right there. Which you need a tier 3. But the main reason in the beginning why I did it was because of the Mega Torch right here. This is a custom recipe we put in here in the beginning. Because we thought they were too easy to make. I kind of regret it now. But <laughs> um, this one is easy to start with generator. We made the Alpha and Portal a while ago. This one here you just need a bunch of dark gems. No problem. But I needed to make Sigils of the Blood Lamp. Okay, which you need an imbued slate as well in an alchemy. So that is what I needed that for um, the blood magic setup. That was the main reason. And I didn't do anything else. I stabbed myself for everything. And that's why you guys see all the runes of self-sacrifice in a few speed runes. But I guess I cheated a little bit because I made this healing standing stone in Grok's root area. He has a full roots area. And this one here gives you regeneration. Um, it wasn't hard to make. I just didn't have the setup. And I'm not going to use roots for much more. Probably we might set up an area in the future in our gardens over there. Because it would kind of fit in nicely. So that is it. All right. Now you guys are all caught up. I know that took a long time. But it was important and it was needed. And now I need to make 35 stacks of nether quartz blocks. Yeah, you heard it right. Because I want the bottom, the entire floor of the palace to be out of nether quartz. I was thinking of all the different blocks that I could use. But because it's a palace, I want nether quartz. Um, and actually, I need 35 stacks of a block. Okay. So the first thing I want to do here real quick is actually find out. It's going to take one stack to make 16 um, of these blocks right here, of the nether quartz. Um, let's go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come over here and save it in my uh, assembly halo right so from now on I can just right click this and it's gonna craft it and then the next one I was thinking here is for three of these I get six quartz slabs so I'm gonna use only the upper slab for most of the flooring because it's only gonna be half that that means I only need what is that? 17 and a half stacks of block. That is a lot still, guys. Okay. So let's go ahead and take this out and let's save this as well. Bam. Done. And now what I can do is take one nether quartz. Okay. I have two more stacks of nether quartz in my crafting area that I just don't want to use in case I need it for something else. So now I put this one over here. I saved it, right? And now I can simply come over here and just right click this. And you guys see, it keeps making me more and more and more. I don't want to use an assembly hello. Because it just does everything automatically. I'm okay with this. Um, it's still going to be faster than if I do it by hand. Or uh, probably not. But it's just more convenient. And boy, that's, am I almost done here? Okay, I'm just going to do the rest later. And then I come over here and make all slabs out of it. right? And then I go over there and I can build it. And... Um, finish the floor. But how am I going to get more nether quartz? Okay, because we're going to need a lot. 
So now actually let's leave this here. So we have almost five full stacks right here, okay? And that is we're going to use put this here. We're gonna use the thing in my jig here. What's it called? I moved it over here, the conjuration catalyst that doubles nether quartz. So if I put one nether quartz in, you see it shows you it's gonna make two. But what's gonna happen when I stack Oh wow, it instantly picked it up. I thought that the magnet gives you a five second rule. Ah, okay. Let's do this again. What is happening? <laughs> okay, so now I got 64. Aha! I need to make a little bit of a contraption here. All right, I see. Um, I don't think... Yes, we have a saw. Perfect. And... Perfect. I got a glass. Okay, let's go ahead. It's because it's popping out. I think it's just that's why it gave it to me back as well. And these are panels and these are covers. And these don't take durability anymore. Interesting. I thought they did. Oh well. I'm not gonna complain. So we're gonna put this right there. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. We probably have to go too high. Let's just do that. Oh. What happened? What's going on? What's... Ah, it was... It was a graphic glitch. It gave him back to me. Okay. Why you no play C? You play C now. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna come up here. And then let's see if I can get that in there. You guys see it sits on there for a second and then it keeps doubling it. You look at this. Of course it's going to take a lot of mana. That's why I put it into this mana pool over here because everything else is tied to this one. And all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Pick him up, pick him up. <laughs> How much was that? That looked like really, oh my God. Did I get everything? That is crazy, guys. Check this out. That is amazing. But anyway, so that is how I'm going to get all the nether quartz now um, to do this. And these mana pools, eh, they got trained pretty good. But that is why I have this big setup back here. And I'm just going to now, for a little while, farm blaze rods, keep the mana going, and then make myself a ton, a ton of nether quartz and nether quartz blocks. And then I'll see you guys back at the palace. Okay, so that is how far um, I got with the mana I had. So I'm going to have to wait for the mana to fill up first before I can get the rest done. I have a couple more blocks here, but I needed them for up here. And um, while I wait for all this mana, I kind of want to figure out how we want to continue over here. Now, this section over here, where I'm going to completely close off, guys. I cooked up two stacks for now. I wanted to... Well, let me just have a stack... Yeah, that's fine. Let's get this one right here. Um, I wanted to use quarried stone. Actual, you know, looks like it's 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 very solid and whatnot, right? But not a full block. And I have not tried this yet, so I wanted to try this. Let's use this block. Is there any? There's fitted quarried stone in here. Perfect. Yeah, right there. Okay, so I've chiseled that before. So that seems to work. So if we, you know, I, I got to save a little bit of materials. Um, what one am I looking for? Sorry, wrong button. This is what I'm looking for. Plane. So if we take off, that was three, four. And then, of course, the same over here. Because nobody is going to see this side. And we're just going to keep it too thick for now. Actually, I want to go in further. This. And then go two more like that. Yes. Very good. Um, and then what I can do is with the region, I want to have outside a two and then between the blocks a one. So if I cut this out here, something like this, possibly one in four like that 
Yes. That works. Let me get my design real quick. This one, oh my goodness, I need I don't need you right now, or you, or you. Good. Ah. I don't need this guy either. Okay. Let's go ahead and where did I put it? Put this right there and replace this. And you guys see now it became a too thick border here. And just on the bottom, it's one white. So what I'm going to have to do here is make this one thicker. Let's go with draw region. Do there. Kind of need to see what this looks like on the bigger scale now, don't I? Oh, now it made the three, but that's fine. We can out real quick. This. Yeah, that looks like poo poo. I don't like this at all. This is can't really tell that it's recessed. It might look better if I use this block right here. But what about and again? This is just testing, and then I'm gonna clean it up. Um, do I have any? Is there any chiseled spruce in here? No, chiseled spruce somewhere. Dark oak, spruce bark. There we go. There it is. Let's get some of this. What if I fill one layer? Yeah. Ooh, I don't mind this at all. One higher. This again. And I need this. Here to there. All right, so this is too thick, too thick, thick, and one. That's how we need it. Put that in here and step back. Kind of like this. This is this is not bad. But again, my question is, if this whole design would not look better with this one instead of having the bricks, I think this is the one we're gonna go with. That is that's much cleaner. Um, let me just show you what I mean by that. Man, I have no room and I got all these bags, right? So let's just say this is too wide for now. Out. Yep, let's go one deeper. And then we can put this back in here. Yeah, that's much cleaner. That's what we're going to go with here. This really two? Yeah, it looks like three. But that's because this corner over here. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of cleanup to do. I think it would even look better if I just use this regular chisel, uh, this regular quarried stone. Instead of either one of them, the cooked or not. That is what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to fill these in here between these cuts here in a second. But then I also wanted to talk about, let me just put this stuff away. Get in there. I need to clean up my chisel back so bad. Um, is the platforms up here. Here's my thinking, um, guys. And for that, I needed some of this. I don't want to see this right here, okay, in the lower and upper floors. So my thinking of this is here, that from underneath we can see this, but this is going to be a false wall in this. Okay, just like this. Um, and it's, it's, it's a good looking block, and that's going to go up to here. So in the upper floors, we also don't see this, this spruce, right? And over here in the in the centerpiece where it's going to be exposed, I need to cover this whole wall. I don't want to see this. This spruce wood is here, so you can see it right there. That's the only reason, right? That's the whole reason why this spruce wood is in there in the middle like that. Um, whoa, roll back there. Um, what is happening? What's going on? Why do I rubber band? Okay, and then out here, this wall... Okay, I wanted to have it an uh, uh, odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this right here will be a room. Okay, so it doesn't leave a lot of room, but I was thinking of like some of the biggest machines we're going to build in these rooms is, for example, a coke oven. Okay, this size or a blast furnace. Now, there's a few other ones, for example, the crusher and so on from um, 
immersive engineering and so on there also we can make all of this work so if i have you know still three or four blocks over here to walk from room to room and room and so on i think this is a good size now this one right here the edge is most likely not going to be ports this needs to be fitting in with our um what shall i call it with our theme over here do i have any more of the yes Whoops. How would that look? Like this. I probably gonna make these stairs and then underneath the entire thing here. We're gonna have right there. Something like this that actually holds this up like here right um and then to make it you know more realistic we're probably gonna have to come out i don't want to go directly underneath i think if i put it right here like this yeah that's better and then in the middle here i can have i can do things like um let's see here real quick how would this look better let's find the middle one two three five we put some lights here quick so the middle is right there okay so i would do something like there upper bottom Something like this. And then we could even. That it doesn't look right. That needs to be the other way around. So we would have. Yes, like that. There we go. So this goes right there. There's. Go like this. Something like that. And, but then that's not it, of course, because we still need to have a fancy bracket underneath here. Um, let's just start. I don't need all this room. One, two, three, four. Let's start from here. So this is going to be nice and big. So let's come out like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of this yet. So this would probably become something like that. There we go. This is getting somewhere. Then come out one further. Like this. Can I place you here? Yes, I can, but the wrong way, of course. That. Like that. Not a bad curve like this. And again, it's going to come together because then also between these here... Um, let's see here for example. the wrong way, but I'll fix it in a second. Um, I'm like that. Why am I going to fix this? This. Oops. That's the. What's happening? There we go. That's what I wanted. And then probably need to put a slab in here. Well, there you go. This is something, but this is... I'm, I'm going to have to play around with it. But you guys see some kind of a bracket holding up the limb right there like this. And then on the front here, we can have... Not you. Something like this. No, I don't like that. I think we're going to have to have something like this. That, like here. Hmm. You know, something playful like this. Just something that, that looks like it's holding up this entire heavy um, upstairs area. And this, this, no, I don't like this at all. I'm going to have to figure something out. I think I want some other end caps, maybe even quartz or gold. Um, like, I would like to start using a lot of gold as decorations in here because it's a palace, right? So... I'm going to go ahead and build something like this, you know, fine-tune this a little more here, these brackets and so on, 
all the way around and finish this floor in a second. But the last thing I wanted to show you guys, you've probably been wondering here is why do I have all this stuff on me? And that is how do we get up there? There's a couple of different options that I have played around with. So number one was, okay. Also, right here when you come in, I'm going to have a, this is a really tall, this is really high up there, right? So what I'm going to have to do is the central place is going to be right there, our, our focus. And then right here is going to be stairs coming up and they need to come all the way up to here. But I think they're going to come all the way to this edge because I don't just want straight stairs up there. It's going to be really weird looking. So there's going to be to have, you know how stairs go up and then I have like a little resting piece, stairs, resting piece. Something like that is going to come up to here so you can walk up to here. But of course, it's not going to be something I want to use all the time. So I do want to have some elevator options. The first one here is with an obtrusive platform. That's from um, Botania. And when you walk over it, nothing happens. But when you press shift, you fall through. Um, and of course, you can come up from underneath as well. And the cool thing is that you can make these look like any block you want. All right. So what we're going to do here, for example, is there's two this number one. And then there's another one here. I wanted to show you this one here. I don't like the color. That's my only problem. I dyed these red, by the way. They have white corners usually. But I wanted to see if you can dye this block, but it only dyes the edges. Now, the coolest thing about this is you have it somewhere. It doesn't need to be above it. Okay? And when I press shift, I come right to here because this is the closest one. So this is definitely my favorite option besides that this block is this greenish color. I don't know what color this is. Whatever, mint color. Um, and the other option we have is luminizers. I wanted to test this. So there is one, and I'm going to have to kind of want to go directly underneath it. They also go sideways, so we can put one here. And then shift right click it come up to here well <laughs> i went right through the platform there and then shift right click this and you guys see it's connected and i can come over here and right click this and it will send me up through the hole and now i'm standing up here but my problem with these is i have these i'm, I'm not a fan of this look right I also I already tested it. Sorry, guys, but I'm going to show you anyway. Is that this? I'm going to have to put it right next to the platform here. It, right there, you put down ashes and then you put. Oh boy, I'm putting everything in my bag. Then you put a feather and then you put a glowstone. You just right click them and then it's going to turn into an updraft. And the way I found out a bit is I made the Sanguine Sentium right here and that shows you these different arrays that you make what they do updraft array right and what happens is when you step into this it catapulted up but it's not tall enough i can't get the height i want so i might be able to stack them meaning have another one halfway up and then i could go into and go down but my problem is i need to come down from here as well and um of course i can fly guys i know that but i kind of want to make the building so if somebody doesn't have flight they can still go up and down easy it is the next day i got really tired last night i worked on this until i think uh 2 30 a.m in the morning and then i called it quits and a little bit more this morning i did a lot of chiseling bits last night i'll show you guys in a second and this is about as far as we're gonna go today um because i want you guys' input on a few choices that we have but i just wanted to show you guys from underneath definitely gonna have to play it with lighting here because you guys see these two here they're both spruce but they look like they they're different color right but i think that if i for example put a torch up here and come back down yeah now they look this one still looks darker than this one interesting but just a little bit but anyway um I'm okay with this right now. Oops, I forgot one section up here. Wonder how many of those I forgot. But real quick. Come on. Just add a little bit something down here. So these are not so so white from underneath. And I never knew that um quartz blocks look different from the bottom than they from the, the top. 
from the top they have this this um this border around it right but from the bottom they're seamless i did not know that over here i didn't pull i guess the the spruce itself i am gonna pull but this whole entrance here is gonna be a little bit different than everything else because i want like a big chandelier or something i don't know yet so i didn't do anything else over here or over there but you guys see it goes all the way around and the top is with spruce now let me show you guys well let's start over here first over there we did a test right with these with this design right here and and once i started from this side of here, i don't like it i it doesn't fit this at all i am not a big fan of this um you guys did see here that i started recessing this a little bit um and that adds a lot to this well i didn't recess this one here Oh yeah, I didn't do all of them, just these two right here, and then the side all the way over here. But it looks much better than when I chisel these down to make them look a little bit recessed and so on. And I think I would like to add a feature at every one of these connections. Like, some kind of like a, a fancy cross-chiseled thing that looks like, you know, it's holding these locks together. I hope that makes sense. But this one is out of the question. I don't like this at all. This does not fit the theme. It's, I don't know. It just, I don't like it. So what I did is I grabbed the pattern, the design from our tunnel with this birch wood, right? That we made a long time ago. And I like that a lot better. I did close these, by the way, over here. Just so we have a, a complete backdrop. So in case something is see-through, you see, hey, the mountain is there, right? So I closed them there and also over there. So I kind of want to hear from you guys if you have any other ideas for this. Because I have one idea that we're going to be able to use it a few of them and I'm really happy how it turned out. Oh yeah, but I, I go there in a second. It's going to be right here. So this is kind of like what I figured the outside walls to be if there's no window. Some of these I want to be windows. So you, you know, you can actually see if it's day or night outside and so on. But I like these block a lot. This is, this is kind of my favorite here right now. It's not too noisy, but it still has that Japanese paper look. Okay. And then you guys see here, all of this is chiseled down make them all panel like if you guys have any better idea on what to use here instead of this uh, just these regular planks right um here's from the outside please let me know i i'm very interested if you guys have a better idea because it's so clean i know japanese is very clean and then over here is the other corner okay but right here i had an idea of what we could do okay instead of Putting something here um, because you guys know how paintings in Minecraft they're they're not very pretty all right so I figured why not make our own painting and check this out Did I still have it copied yes bam look at this I really like this and you know I, I chiseled this a little bit to give it a, a little bit of a more of a 3d feel and so on and you cannot tell that this is an actual screen it looks like a painting to me, right? So we could use one here. This one right here, I said I do want to close. This one we leave open. This one and this one. But now I'm not really sure if I want to close this one as well. Because it does look good. I could shave the mountain over here a little bit different. So we don't have that little piece of stone sitting right there. I think I'm going to do that. But that means we still need something over here. This one for sure. And these four. So these five... And then we're going to have, what is that, four windows and five more closed over here. Let me know how you guys like this idea. There's a bunch of, you know, I just Googled Japanese garden. And this one, you know, it's very colorful. And I just scaled it down with a um, editing software and then just uploaded it. And it's only 200, about 200 pixels. But it still looks very good. I like this. Again, let me know how you guys like this. It just costs uh, um, a little bit of GP, which is, we can just add endless GP. But that's not a, really a problem. All right. I want to wrap this up. I wanted this not to be longer than one hour, but it's just me. And now I need you guys' help. I did a couple different designs up here. What to do the walls. Let's go in here real quick. First, I did everything around here with this border. Um, this is just a chiseled paper wall. This one right there. And I figured I want to have kind of a balcony right here and also right there across. Just so you can walk out here and kind of look down later on, right? Um, the walls here, guys, they look very naked right now. But don't forget, there's going to be dividers here. There's going to be different rooms. 
And you know, there's going to be stuff in these. So I'm not too worried about this right now. This is the only bummer right here. That the balcony is actually this high up. I did not think that one through, right? So this one almost would be like... You would come from the upstairs here, the next floor up, and you would walk down onto it. But we'll we'll figure that out later on. I'm not going to move this up because, well, there's already a huge gap underneath. I mean, this is very high up there, right? If I put this even higher, I think it would look weird. Anyway, so that's what it looks from the outside, inside. And check it out now. This was, I, go, I went from left to right. Yeah, well, I, I stuck with the paper wall first. I don't like this one at all. It is so noisy. It almost hurts my eyes looking at this with this Japanese glass right here. Um, and then I made the same one with a, with, a, with a softer glass, right? This is just a, I don't know what, old bordered glass, something. Here real quick. Uh, da -da. It is... Why do I have problems finding this? There we are. This one. Glass light. That's that's the one I used right here. And I kind of liked it because it has this goldish border, right? And this is okay. But I'm still not a big fan of it. Because think about it. If this spans all the way around, it might be too much for it. There, okay? And then I made this one. And this is one of my favorite ones right now. Um, I used a, a different chisel. This is actually dark oak, not spruce, because when you chisel spruce, it gets a very gray. Let me show you real quick. Um, gets a very gray feel to it. Which one would that be? The comparable one would be this one. Actually, it's not true. It's not gray, but this is that one. This design as this. Actually, this looks almost identical, so I don't know. Maybe I just thought it was grayish when I looked at it in the chisel. But it's not too bad now that I'm seeing it. Put this back. I don't want to have... I have so many different things already. Anyways, so I like this. And I played around, and then I went over into the regular... This is all chiseled, of course. Into the regular quartz stone again, because it kind of fits, right? That's where we have everywhere else. And I just made a little bit of a border here with the basalt around this window and then i did the same design over here just with the regular spruce and again our um birch rasta whatever this is called okay and then i figured you know what let's try invert the colors i don't like this one this does not fit our style um we are we are dark with bright accents um i'm sorry we are <laughs> We have everything white with dark accents. And then over here, I switched it around, so I don't like this. So this one kind of was my favorite, right, so far. And I wanted to see it with this in it, so I built the same thing again over here. And I kind of want to leave it up to you guys. And I also played around with these immersive engineering lanterns. They're very simple, just two iron plates, glowstone, two glass panes. And they fit the style. They kind of look very similar to kind of paper lanterns, right? So I think we're going to use those a lot in our build here. And I just hung him there so, just so you guys can see it. Anyways, I want to leave it up to you guys. So if you have any other idea, which one of these do you guys like the best? Please go down in the comments and let me know. So I'm going to wait um, until you, I get a bunch of people, you know, telling me I think you should go with this one or try out this block. Hey, try it. Or maybe even tweet me a screenshot. Okay. If you come up with something better, it doesn't need to be the size or anything. And then once we figured this out and I finish this, then I'm going to put the next floor up here. And then, you know, we figure out how we're going to tie this into the ceiling and put the lanterns and all that stuff. So we still have tons to go, but I am I'm loving it. I'm having a ton of fun. Um, this is, you know, the only series where I really focus on building. Um, let me and sleep real quick so we can take a look at it from the outside one more time. And that's what I'm going to call it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. All your feedback is much appreciated down in the comments. Um, so let me have it. Let me hear it. What do you guys want me to add? What do you think would be a cool idea? Which one of the features I showed off you don't like? Which ones do you like? Have at it, okay? And I'll talk to you in the next one. I'm going to look at this one again. Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.